come up. Wade, what's up? Hey, what's up, man? Um, so I, I just wanted to hop on and ask you, I, this is the first time I've seen you talk about anything or comment, so I've try, been trying to get a little centered on what your position is. It sounds like you're orthodox and everything. What is, what is the gospel of our salvation? In the orthodox view, the gospel is not reducible to any single phrase, but I mean, it would be the totality of, of divine revelation. But the central uh, actions of Christ's redemption, including his incarnation, birth, incar incarnation, uh, teaching, his death, burial, resurrection, and ascension, uh, are the central elements of Christ's redemptive acts, if you want to say that's the gospel. Okay, I agree with death, burial, and resurrection. So what, if, if I come to you and say, hey, Jay, I hear you're a Christian, you're a believer, what must I do to be saved? What would you say? Well, I mean, I assume you're going to say from Acts, confess to the Lord Jesus Christ and you'll be saved. But I don't think that was ever intended to be a lowest common denominator scaled down Romans Road thing where that's all you have to do. Because if you look at the rest of what Paul teaches or the, the New Testament, I mean, there's a lot of things that are required. So it's not just that. So you need to go to the liturgy. You need to participate in the sacraments. You need to repent. Uh, you need to do all of these things. So there's not like a scale down. That's one of the Protestant assumptions is that it's like scaled down to this one single thing or the Romans road or whatever. You no, know, right. And I wasn't alluding to directly to Acts 16. I'm just wanting to know if I come to you and want to know how to be saved. So you, basically if somebody realizes they have the right Jesus, you know, that he's God in the flesh, triune, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, that he died on the cross and shed his precious blood for our sins, that he was buried and raised again and putting your faith and trust in Christ alone, believing that he did that for you and trusting in Christ alone is insufficient to save a sinner's soul is what you're saying. Well, I mean, you're just restating your evangelical assumptions as to what all these New Testament texts mean. And so I have a different reading of those texts and I don't think the reading that you have would be consistent. So, no, I don't think you have a right gospel. Okay. Well, I just want to confirm that you are, in fact, a heretic. So that, that was for everybody else because, you know, I was being nice. But That's a, that's uh, a nice little uh, condescending snicker there. But Yeah. Yeah, where, where, were, where were the Wade believers in the 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th century? Well, nobody believed in me then. Hopefully nobody believes in me now. Where were the people that had your view then? Besides the Apostle Paul, who predates him? The 4th, 5th, and 6th century? Uh, he, he would be 1st century. I know. That's why, that's I, don't, why. How much, I don't know how much history you study. Yeah, you, you're, you don't even know what you're objecting to. The 4th, 5th, 6th century, where were the people that had your view? Running from... People make up somebody, home. somebody who had your views. What's that? Can you cite any of the historical examples of people that had your views in those centuries? Dude, I'm scripture alone. You so know, the, the Bible believers that, that shot off from so Antioch and the so Montanists didn't were running for, their, so running for their lives for over a millennia. So you're a retard, right? So you, you don't have any examples from that time period. I didn't live then. I didn't hang out with people. I was born in so there the was 20th a, century. So didn't Jesus say that the kingdom would that the gates of hell wouldn't prevail against the church? Oh, exactly. Silence. So just this arrogant delusion with his pretending to be nice. You see how so you're so mean. Now, people, in, especially in religious circles with these delusions, they pretend to be pious and nice. Hey, uh, I'm Wade. I'd like to speak to you, the gospel of Jesus Christ. And then you ask him simple questions about, okay, so you think I'm a heretic. Where was any of your dumb heretical group in those centuries? And then he goes quiet with his nervous voice. <laughs> Breathing really hard. Okay, I'm wait. Listening. 